hello and welcome back to the channel. It is our third video of SHAP, also the third one of our explainable AI series. If you're interested in learning more about SHAP, I have a course on Udemy where I use SHAP. We also use XGBoost and we go through all the stages to implement from the very beginning all up until the hyper parameter tuning. I will leave this script as well in the description together with a Udemy link as well to my course. So please be sure to check out. And of course, this script is for you to use and keep when you need. What we need to do first in this video is that we need to install some libraries. So pip install py dataset. And here, what I am missing is that I need to put an exclamation mark here. And then as well, pip install shap, pip install shap. And here we go. Let me do control enter. And then I just need to do my control enter. And while it is running, now what do we need to do? We need to import now the libraries after we run them. So let's start by doing that. And after everything has been installed, now we can import. So from pi data set, we need to import data. And then we import pandas as pd. Here we go, shift enter. And let me put here some code below. So that now we can import the data. So df equals two, we use data, then in single quotes, what we include inside is housing. Then let's have a look to what we got. So df dot hat. And here we go. Let me do control enter. Then we see here that we have the price, which is our dependent variable. We have a lot of independent variables and we have here some string variables. As a result, the next step is that what we'll do is to actually transform them into dummy variables. So it will be super, super simple. And here we go. What we need to do is the F equals to pandas get dummies. And then inside, we just include our df and then we do drop first equals to true. And here we go. Let's have a look to what we attain. So the f dot hat. And we see here that we have drive away yes, rec room yes, and so on. And now we are ready in a sense from a data prep to now go to the next step. And the next step is what we will do is that we'll isolate the x and y. x and y. And let me put here the comment. And so the y equals 2, we go to our df.iloc, then we include the square brackets, and then we want all the observations, and our dependent variable, it is on index 0. And then x equals 2, same step, so df.iloc, open the square brackets, all the observations, and then we want starting from the second index, which in Python is one, then we put the colon. And here we go. Now what is left for us to do is to create training and test set. Because SHAP is often applied to actually the test set, to use our model to apply to the test set and explain through the test set what is our machine learning model doing. As a result, so we need to import something. So from sklearn.model selection. And then from here, we import the train test split. And then we create our x train, our x test, and then our y train, and then the y test equals to and then we use our train test split. And inside the train test split, we include our x, our y that we have just created. We include a test size. So this means that there will be a percent which will be on the test side, so equals to 0.2, so 20%. And then random state so that you get similar results to me. So random state equals to 15, 0, 2. Now, after this step is done, then we are absolutely ready to create our random forest. And how to do this? So from 
sklearn dot ensemble we need to import the random forest regressor then we create a model to use our function which is the random forest regressor open the parenthesis we create this n estimator so the number of trees that we'll have let's include 20 to be simple and then a random state which is so let's include 1502 again for you to have similar results to me and then afterwards we fit our model to our x train and to our y train and here we go so control enter and after this step is done then we are absolutely ready to use our shap so import shap and then we are going to create this explainer object so explainer equals to we go to our shap we use the tree explainer and inside the tree explainer what we include is the model so this is the first step then the second one is to compute the shap values which are equals to we use the explainer that we have just created so explainer and then we do dot shap values and then we create the shap values of our x test and here we go one thing that i want to do is when it comes to dependency plots we look at specific variables individually and as a result i want to have the names of my variables for me to pick better so x test dot columns and here we go so control enter and then as a result so the next step is to actually do the dependency plots so dependency plots and here we go so there was an error so name x test is not defined and that is because it's supposed to be a small t and hopefully yes now it's done so dependency plots and how to do this so shap dot dependency plot and then inside what we include is a variable for instance let's do lot size and then as well we include the shap values that we have just computed and then we include our x test here you go Control enter and here is a mistake and let's do it like this now and for instance how to interpret this so we have here the lot size which you know is positively correlated with the shap values so this means that the higher the lot size then the higher the price and then what this dependency plot does is that it connects the variable that we want to study which is the lot size with its closest variable so the variable that interacts the most which for the lot size is the bedrooms and what we see for instance is that we have a lot of these uh, blues and then purples through here in the beginning and that they become again more or less rarefied here on top as well i find it interesting the shape of the curve which is more or less kind of this l shaped or you know it goes up in a very straight line and then it just stops meaning that after a certain point when it comes to the lot size the impact on the price is more or less stable so it remains the same and you can do this with lot size but for instance let's imagine that we're going to do with uh, stories so and let's try to do that one stories to see how it impacts so here we go and we see that when it comes to the stories so it is actually mostly related to air conditioning and it is that if it has a lot of stories then it is more likely to have air conditioning and this is something that for me in general just makes sense because in general if a house it has more stories then people are also more likely to be able to afford air conditioning and the general expense that comes with it again the story is positively correlated uh, with price so we can see that it goes in this direction
And you can do this with all of them. It's definitely super interesting and to show, I also feel that it does provide a very clear picture. If you really want to study one very particular variable or, you know, two or three, I find it to this to be a very cool thing to do. As a result, we are done. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in another video. We do have more techniques in this explainable AI series. In the incoming videos, we'll start exploring Dalex, which is another way to do explainable AI. It's also a very cool one, very visual. And I'm looking forward to seeing you then. And until then, have fun.